today I am laying some matting into a couple of stables. I've already done one stable and I'm just using some old mats that we have but they have warped so much that the teeth no longer slot into one another so I am cutting them off and measuring them all and just trying to get the edges as neat and tidy as I can so that they can butt together and that will just give us a couple more stables with mats in them and I'm also going to try and tidy up some mats that have stretched and warped in another uh, stable which we use as a pen so hopefully by the end of this video we'll have some nicely matted stables.
magic. Okay, so all I've got left to do now is just this little strip here. So I'll measure that out and fill that in. And then that'll be this stable done. So that is this stable done. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's usable and means that we don't have to spend a fortune on new mats when these ones have been repurposed. Um, so that's looking pretty good. And I'll show you the other stable. My doggy's in here at the moment just so he doesn't run off and eat horse poo. Hi, Barlow. And this is the other one that I did before. Um, it's a slightly bigger stable, so I didn't have to cut the mats quite as much. Hello Barlow, what do you think? So that is two stables matted. Good day's work. Now, I'm going to go and show you the other stable, which I want to sort out to do as well. This is the other stable. We use it as a pen in the winter. And um, the distortion with the way these mats expand and contract between different temperatures has caused this to happen and this happens. I'm going to try and figure out a way best to fix this without having to cut all the teeth off. The problem is the teeth start to distort and don't go back in, but I'm going to try and trim them a bit to make this work. So let's see how we get on with that. So with a bit of sewing and getting rid of the teeth, I have fixed the mats in here, looking a lot better. It'll take a wee while for them to sort of completely flatten down again, so take a wee while to unexpand and then this corner is a lot better too I just took the teeth away completely 
and butted it all together like I did with the other stables. So it's looking a lot better and the pen is now safe and usable for the foreseeable future.